for the Cleveland News Captain Planning Board for Tuesday, March 10th, 2015. Is there anyone here to speak to something that's not on the agenda? All right, we have two sets of meeting minutes to approve. Um, the February 10th one, I guess it's just James, Jim, and I speaking on this one. So I motion to approve the minutes from February 10th. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. One extension. Um, and then the February 24th meeting minutes, uh, I guess we got to hold off because we, we're missing chat. It's just you and me. So I guess we'll put that off till the next meeting. Sounds good. All right, uh, first up, an a &R for 369 Main Street. Come on down. This right here is just showing um, where the where the uh, the point of where it originally was started. So all of this now is going to be part of this house, and then all of this and all of this belongs to is just not a building lot. Okay. It's just so essentially, it's just separating that from this. This is, and just to give you some perspective, this is uh, the Landers Plumbing and Heating on Main Street, um, and this is the house next door. So we will still be retaining this little corridor, which means almost nothing at all whatsoever. Um, but it just <clears throat> gives them the ability to, they'd have to come to you to do it, um, to maybe build a garage here at some point. Um, we're still in the purchase and sale agreement. Um, of the whole thing, so that's really all it is. Okay. Makes the lot a little more useful. Any questions? No. Any comments from the planning department? No, it meets frontage requirements, which is what you're yeah. right. looking at as an ANR for the new members. You're looking to make sure that it's got adequate frontage on a public way. You're not looking at area. I motion to endorse uh, the ANR for 369 Main Street. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, folks. Extensions. All right. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to go track down John at a bar somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I need my alarm. Do you want to sign my alarm? Um, I don't need it now. I'll come pick it up. You're going to come pick it up? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, are we recording? Do we have more? Excellent. Uh, next up is the continuation of the public hearing for the special permit for 48 Parsons Street. It's like a regular yeah. feature in our So uh, to start with, I got um, affidavits mm -hmm. from Jim Ballancourt and Libby for uh, under the Mullins rule, having read the minutes or watched the video. Um, so we'll take those into the public record. Um, we discussed much of this in the last hearing, but refrained from making any decision until we had a quorum. So, um, do any of you have any further questions? Do they have them? No? Um, when we talked last time, um, there were a couple of issues that were raised with some of the neighbors. Um, was the issue of uh, they wanted barriers in the back. They were right. concerned about the bus stop traffic. 
Uh, there was a fence along the driveway. Thing. There was an issue. There were questions about the dumpster as well. I think the dumpster issues were, were resolved. We figured out the fencing will require the three sided fencing, right? That's fine. Um, at least that was my suggestion. The, um, there was the question about the fencing along the sides, whether we'd require higher or uh, closed fencing, the driveway barrier at the back of the lot, and then there was a concern about the density, which I think was a non-issue. Um, so um, I, I don't know what you guys are thinking about these, but. I recommend awesome. there's no additional stipulations to make. Uh, I don't see, I, well, I think there, I'm happy the public brought us those concerns. I have looked at the document currently and I'm bringing a lot of this to you. And I don't believe that, that uh, other than communicating with the developer, that, that it's, and I know we have the power to do it, but I don't believe it's appropriate for us to, uh, to enforce uh, a fence on, on the property side. I think that it, it's really outside of your valley work to be concerned about the bus stop that's in the back on the other side. I think everything else has been adequately addressed. And my recommendation is to uh, approve the special permit. You guys have any other thoughts? Planning department, any thoughts? I mean, I just want to say that you do have that right. So we have, right. Yeah. I recognize so you I, okay. absolutely I, have the right. Okay, I don't that, think that, it's that's part of your 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 job is to look at the public I mean, health, safety, and welfare of this development which within I the neighborhood. Okay, so I just want to make sure that's clear with yeah, your I statement, mean, that's all. Yeah. I mean, we did talk about several different options for things to put along the back way to sort of separate the lots. I, I mean, I don't know if anybody has any thoughts about those or Jim, let me what you guys are thinking. I missed the discussion last time. I did read the minutes, but there wasn't ton of detail in there yeah. about what was discussed. There was a request to put up possible what are they called Jersey barriers. Well we talked about everything from fencing to potted plants to Jersey barriers to signage. Um, I think that um, the applicant has made a good point that uh, you know they have an interest as well in people not coming through that back way. Um, and you know hopefully what was the primary concern of the neighbors that why they wanted the fence? There's going to, yeah, go ahead. Well, the back half of that lot, which is um, public space, it's going to be hopefully turned into a park, um, is not, I mean, at the moment, I guess, there's there's through traffic, and you can come in that back side. Uh, I think in the immediate, the immediate concern is that there may be a bus stop there, although I think that the applicant has said he believes that that's going to stop. But um, it, it, I think it's more just sort of, creating confusion and, and a risk that if people are walking back there, there may be more traffic. Um, I, I would hope that when the parking lot gets repaved and painted and everything, that it would be a little clearer that that's not a through way and maybe signage solves the problem. But <coughs> Well, I think with the parking of 15 units, we anticipate probably around 20 cars plus visitor spaces. So there's a good chance that you're gonna end up with vehicles back there that are gonna become a natural barrier. Mm -hmm. So last time I walked, it's the only thing there is I just don't know what's going to happen with the, the green space. Mm -hmm. We will want to play off that before doing anything permanent. Right. Um, I think that's fair. And I think, you know, it may become something that would be a nice thing to do for people in the future, but because that lot is so in play right now, we don't know what it's going to be like. I, I agree with your recommendation. Do we know anything from Parks and Rec what they're planning on doing with that Parks space? Parks and Rec wants something to do with that they space. They want something to do with it. So that's that's a project that I'm on my radar screen. I see. And, and I think the hope is once the once uh, that is up and running, I don't think there will be an option for through traffic. It just right. sounded like there's going to be a bit of a window, at, and who knows how long, but that there will be hopefully tenants in this building before that park is. Right. My understanding from the mayor is that the bus stop is set to be moved for the next school year. Right. That it, it'll continue to the end of this school year, but then after the next school year, it, it's, she's worked with, um, she's talking to the bus company to have it moved. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I, I think those are the issues. I mean, is there anything you wanted to add, sir, as a neighbor? Nothing I can say, so it doesn't make a difference. Okay. Um, do what you want to do. There's no other questions or comments. I take a motion. I motion to 
approve the special permit for 48 Parsons Street. Second. Are we, do we want to add a specific condition for the dumpster being fenced in on three sides? When we talk about that. Yeah, I think he already said he was going to do it. I, I'm, if you want it, I'm all for it. I'll modify it in, requiring uh, that the dumpster be fenced in on three sides. That doesn't make sense just to clarify. Second. Second. All, right. um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. <coughs> Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. So, uh, I'll try to draft the decision as soon as I can. We have 14 days technically, and then there's the 20 day appeal period after that. So you can talk to your building inspector about that. Yep. That would be great. Yep. Thank you. I'll push and try Thanks. to get done. Yep. Take care. All right. Uh, next up is the site plan approval for 84 Cottage Street. Also not that big. chance to look at your application but you guys want to give us sort of a brief overview of what's what the plan yeah I mean basically the, we're looking at renovating the basement into a small theater space where we have um, t uh, seminars basically we run uh, seminars and webcasts for the tattoo shop and uh, currently you know we don't have enough space in uh, our current shop so um, that's the intention okay so you're planning on uh, this is going to be for training and seminars Training and you'll have regular tattoo in there too. Okay, for sure. Um, but the, 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 the need for the space is because we, we run seminars that like get between you know maybe ten and thirty uh, people in person, and then uh, we, we webcast out to the uh, into the world in general. Uh, but we can't we don't currently have space to do that. So. Okay, and just for the record, we did get responses from uh, fire department. Mm -hmm. yep. Just wanted to make sure. Have you seen those comments? Yep. So the fire department had concern about sprinklers. I think the building. Inspector did as well, and then the health department just wanted to make sure that you, um, you know, talk to them about health code stuff before yeah. you start throwing any money into the project. Make sure we're absolutely clear on that front. And uh, I mean, we currently run a tattoo shop, so the health stuff is going to be yeah. the same. I'm sure. I think it's just an abundance of caution. Make sure you, of course, before you start sinking anything into it, just pull something out of the way. So um, you did a good job, I think, in the uh, in the. <laughs> and the site plan information that we received, uh, I think covering how it was all going to be the same waste removal, yep. um, but that you were going to put a sprinkler system in. I thought that a lot of the questions you may have asked were, you know, answered thoroughly in that time. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, any other questions? Mm -hmm. Comments? Any fire department? Well, I motion to approve the uh, site plan approval for 84 Cottage Street. Off the map tattoo. One second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? All right. And now this over, I'd like to comment that your vision of the future sounds exciting. Keep awesome. it up. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. So I'll draft a decision and I'll email it to you. And then since it's a site plan approval, there's no appeal period. So okay. you can start, you can pull a building permit once you've got it in place. So I should hopefully have Good. that within, if not this week, then next week. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. All right. Good luck, guys. Okay. And letter of credit for Kingsbury Way. Yeah, just to update the board. So, as you know, we we have performance guarantees um, uh, for subdivisions and special permits when needed. Um, so, this is an old subdivision that was approved many moons ago, but we continue to carry a letter of credit for it. So the letter of credit was expiring on the 18th of March. So we contacted the bank, we contacted the property owner, and we received a new letter of credit as of yesterday. So that'll continue for another year for $30,000. So just to keep the board updated that there is still a performance guarantee, an active performance guarantee on Kingsbury Way and the planning department's on it in terms of making sure that it stays active. Do we need to take any action? You don't need to take any action. I just wanted to briefly okay. let that that is a guarantee that's still active and still in play and we're, we're tracking it. So. Okay. So no action, just information only. All right. And finally, we have three uh, ZBA applications that we were requested to uh, review and provide an opinion if we're so, if we're so inclined. Um, 
don't know if you guys want to look at this or if you want to stick with our general past uh, practice. Of yeah, I mean, I, from the information I saw, my mom stood out as saying anything in particular, uh, unless that we need everything advice from the from Jess to that there's. Something I think the assistant planner was kind of hoping for you to take a look at 28 Holyoke Street if you had an opinion about that the because that signage. yeah because the signage ordinance is currently open again for amendments mm -hmm. and so um but you know i'm not sure if there's anything that the board i don't know if it's relevant enough for the board to comment on i guess it's, it's you know your decision on what you want to do this is a gentleman who had, already has a special permit this is the manatee massage yeah and he's looking to put additional signage sort of above and beyond what he's permitted to have so he's been denied once already and he's going back again so i don't know if you want to just stick to standard um, they're through. sort of the experts on it. I don't know that we have much to add. Yeah, I mean, I'm inclined to agree with that. But they, I mean, we don't have the applicant here, and but if somebody feels what they turn feel different, no, okay. no, <laughs> do you require a motion to say nothing, or should we just say we're you can, as long as you just write no comments on the cover sheets, we're fine. We okay. just need that for the files for the DBA project file. All right, then I will endorse these in the comment. Um, anything else, just the CPTC? CPTC, Jim Zarvis has already signed up to go, but if anybody else is interested in attending, this is the Citizen Planner Training Collaborative. It's a, it's a great, um, conference that's held once a year, it's held in Worcester, and it's um, designed specifically for people like yourselves who are volunteers on planning boards, making planning decisions, and um, it's a great way to sort of learn about the basics of zoning, learn about, you know, things like A&Rs, or site plan review, or any of special permits, and just sort of what the state law says, so we have budget, we have money in your budget to pay for the cost of the conference and for travel. So if you're interested, then it's on the 21st and you should sign up. They actually have a certification really program if you're interested in that. Jim has gone through the first phase of certification and now in the second phase. And so. she'll be completing it with this one. Which That's is great. I really wish I could go. I'm actually running a conference of my own that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, next year, it's an annual event, so definitely keep it on your radar screen. Mm -hmm. um, I have one more thing I yeah. want to add, just to give you an update on the building size provision ordinance. So um, I made some changes and amendments to it yesterday, and I will send that out for your review. It's using track changes, so you'll need to know how to use that in your software, but all of my comments are in bubbles on the side, and there's quite a few of them. So um, what we need to do now is once I send that out to you and City Council Ordinance Subcommittee, we're going to need to schedule a follow-up public hearing. So um, I think we need to do it on an off night. I yeah. don't think it makes sense to do it. Um, although I don't actually have anything coming up in the next agenda. So we have no permit application. So we might be able to do it that way. The only problem is the conflict with the upstairs room. So if we didn't think we were gonna have a large crowd, we could have it here. If we think we're gonna have a large crowd in it, my preference is to have it upstairs like we did last time because, and we can't do it tonight because the school committee meets on the same night. So. Um, We'll send it out and we'll figure out what we do need to schedule the next the next hearing to, to take comments and to have discussion. So Sounds good. I'm inclined to err on the side of giving us more room rather than less. In case Upstairs. Yeah. Okay. Just so we'll for an off night. Yeah. Okay. Might as well. And okay. Then giving just some flexibility to set the time on that and offer us a, a time to do it is a good thing too. So. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll work on that and I'll send you guys um, my documents All right. tomorrow. Great. Anything else? I motion to adjourn. Can I speak before you adjourn? Um, I well, I know it's highly unusual. There's I, actually nothing. I, right I, now. I know. I just wanted you to can. speak to the board. I just want to talk to you. Um, I, I apologize. Have, after the meeting. Yeah, it's really because we, well, no, we can't do it after. Well, I, we have a public comment period. That's really the only time. We well, can, I I we understand. I was running late from work, and I apologize. Okay. I understand that you've already voted. Um, 
and that you know you did take the time to listen to my comments last time but I also understand that there was nothing that I said that was incorporated into the permit yeah. Um, and so I, you know, I do understand. I'm that sorry, I, I really don't mean to cut you off, but we really can't talk about this now. I mean, it's already I, been decided. I'm just so asking you to listen. I just I want to give you we my can't comments. Even, on. So you can come to the next meeting during the public comment period and talk to us, but we can't. It's already been decided and closed, and so there's no forum here for a public comment. We have to close our hearing when we're done with an issue. I'm really sorry. Okay. Thank you. I guess I'll come next time. Okay. Have a great night. Resolution. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.